Esther 1.21 Vayitav hadavar be'ene ha-melech ve-hasarim Vayas ha-melech kidvar memuchan So we begin today with the call imperfect 3ms of the root yod tet beit yatav plus the vav consecutive. The verbal root here means to be good. And so if we put this kind of in that natural passive, we could say something like it was good, the it here being the third masculine singular. Now, as we continue, we get the subject here with the word or the matter. So this matter, the matter was good in the eyes of, notice the masculine plural construct there, of the king, the king here being Ahasuerus, of course, and also we get the vav of accompaniment here, and also the officials. So both groups here agree that this thing spoken to send out the decree was good. Next, we get another vav consecutive on a call imperfect third masculine singular. This time the root is ayin sin hey, and notice here we have a third hey that drops out. With the vav consecutive, though, notice the accent retracts here to the preformative syllable. So we have vayas, and this is called uh, one of the apocopated forms or shortened forms of those third hey verbs with the vav consecutive, or also in the jussive, you can get this. This one is a vav consecutive form, and so we get the subject here, hamelech, the king. The king did, that vav consecutive gives us past tense on the imperfect, the king did according to the word of Memukan. According to the word of Memukan. Now, notice we said the word. We've reviewed this a few times, but we'll do it again. We said the word, but we don't have the definite article up here. What we get is in a construct package, like what we have here in a construct package, the second noun governs the definiteness of the entire package. And since this is a proper name, the entire package is definite according to the word of Memukan.